Alright guys, welcome back to Strong Successful Mail. So for today in the Ask SSM video series, got an email from a subscriber. He is 32 years old and he's writing in asking for my help because he wants to lose weight. He's been overweight for pretty much his whole adult life and he's finally reached a point after watching my channel for a while and also hearing from his doctor that he has to lose weight like 100 pounds. That's it. I'm done. I'm done being overweight. I got to do whatever it is to turn things around and he's here for my help. And he obviously knows that I used to be a trainer and I'm in that line of where I was in that line. Of where I'll always be a trainer, but uh, I'm not practicing anymore. So I'm going to go through his email here. It's not too long. And I'm going to go through a very detailed list. I actually wrote this down because normally I just freestyle. But things that he can do right away to get things rolling and the plans he can make and all that. And hopefully, not only will this help him, but other guys out there that are struggling like him that realize I'm an overweight, I don't know what to do, I don't know where to start. And hopefully this can help you turn things around. Because everybody, you can turn things around. But the older you get, the harder it is. So he starts off, he says, uh, hello SSM. I've been watching your channel since last summer and truly appreciate what you're doing for men. Brother, it's my pleasure. To cut to the chase, I'm 32 years old and have been overweight for years. My doctor says I need to lose 100 pounds yesterday, but I've always made excuses and put it off. I'm glad you could admit it. I'm glad you could admit you made excuses and put it off. A lot of guys won't do that. I've reached the point that I'm sick of looking the way I do and want to make a lasting change. Your videos have truly given me the push that I need to get off my ass. I know nothing in nutrition aside from not eating the crap that I do, and I never set foot in a gym. Since you are a trainer, can you please make a video on how to point me in the right direction and how to get started? Thank you. So, bro, good job. Congratulations for finally getting to the point saying enough's enough. I'm going to do something about this. Most people won't ever do that. And uh, it really is, guys. A lot of people really have to hit a wall before they make a real change in their life, whatever that may be. And flat out, his doctors tell him, you got to lose 100 pounds. End of freaking story. And he, it may not be happening yet, but in time, he's going to have a lot of health problems if he stays where he is. So, first things first. Before you do anything, any major lifestyle changes or fitness exercise programs because you're new to it all or changing your diet, go see your doctor. The same doctor that's been telling you to lose 100 pounds, just tell him, okay. I'm making this change. Just want to have a physical or make sure everything looks good, okay. You know, you're gonna you're gonna meet with a registered dietitian and start working out. Just get the doctors okay on that. Make sure that's very important. At the same time that you're booking an appointment with you with your primary care provider, your doctor, I want you to go through your house, through your cupboards in your kitchen, and get all the crap out of the house. And when I say crap, I think you know what I mean. Junk food, sugar products, sugar drinks. Everything along those lines, goodbye. Get it out of that. It's Temptation Alley. And then refill your house with healthy things. Fruit, vegetables, good meats like chicken, things like that. Okay? If you don't like those types of things, you better get started now. Next thing, I want you to do your homework and, and look up a, and make an appointment with a registered dietitian. That's a pro. They go through a hell of a lot of training and uh, et cetera. To get where they, schooling and certifications and all that to become a registered dietitian and meet with him or her to help you get on the right path. Okay, this is their business. Make sure they have good reviews online, someone you can work with, and go from there. And they should be able to, that well, no, they, they will be able to help you with regards to what you eat per day, the type of foods you eat, help educate you, not just so that you see them forever, but help you that you'll then know what to do. At the same time, my recommendation is to get on some type of app on your phone where you can record your daily, your meals, okay? Now, there are all sorts of apps out there, but in my experience, the best one out there, which will cost you money, but it's worth it over time, is the Weight Watchers app. I've known a few people that have done this, and it's worked wonders for them. It really keeps them accountable. The way, and by the way, I am not getting paid for this by Weight Watchers. I don't own stock in Weight Watchers. I'll make that clear before somebody accuses me of that. I don't. I just know people that are successful in this, and I want to help you guys be successful. That being said, this app will allow you to enter in your weight, your age, your gender, and all that, and then it will help you record every day what you eat. And it will assign, to help you get to the goal weight you want to be, or the goal size, it will assign you how many points per day you can have. And then every meal group, whatever you eat, from grilled chicken to, to some salmon to, uh, you know, some brown rice or apple, 
you enter it in every day and it will assign points to every food item and you're allowed to, and you then obviously make that number per day. So let's just say the amount of points you can have a day are 35, then you'll tally that up every day. And what's cool about that app is if you have a day that you hit the gym and you did 30 minutes on the treadmill, that will give you some fitness points that can help you then maybe I guess to eat a little extra things. And what's cool about this thing is every food group out there will have these points that will help you tally up every day. And also not just food at the store, but it could be if you if you had a cheat day and you got uh, you know a, a hamburger somewhere, same thing, okay? All brands, that type of thing. And if you stick with this, it will really help you stay on track and know exactly where to be every day. And it will allow you, like I said, if you do a, a hard day at the gym, you get some extra points so you can allow yourself a little extra of the things you like, okay? This app is paramount. I've known people have done this and it's really helped them, but it's gonna cost you some money. It might cost you 20 bucks a month, I don't know but it's worth it. And yes, there are other ones out there for free, but in my opinion, this is the best one. And again, I don't own stock in Weight Waters, watches or get paid by them. I'm just telling you what I know it works, okay? So after you met with your, di your registered dietitian, and by the way, remember, when I say diet, I don't mean like starving yourself, which a lot of people think it means, or never having anything you like ever again. I mean just changing your lifestyle with regards to the food. So after you've met with your doctor, got all the crap out of your house, and you met with your registered dietitian, and you've also then got this app to help you track things along the way, now it's up to you to stick to that. Now you need to also learn to cook good stuff. You're going to have to get used to in the morning, instead of having a Pop-Tart or a bowl of sugared cereal, to actually have something healthy and prepare throughout the day. You need to do some serious meal prep along the way. Chopping up vegetables, having fruits ready, grilled chicken. Grilled chicken's great. And by the way, eat what works for you. I mean, I'm just giving an example of grilled chicken. All right. Grilled chicken is a godsend for, uh, for good, good healthy eating. If you don't know how to cook various things that have been recommended by your registered dietitian, go to YouTube. You can watch me on YouTube. You can watch good cooking channels, how to cook anything, and start small. You don't know how to do anything? Start small. How to scramble a good egg, how to make a good omelet. Omelets are great breakfast. I have them all the time. Just be careful with the yolks and too much eggs or cholesterol, but just be careful. Chopping up good vegetables to put in your omelets, it's a great way to start the day. I have peppers and onions with my omelets. No cheese, okay? and you'll get on this diet plan, okay? And you wanna obviously greatly minimize sugar products, dairy. You don't need to have cheese on things. That's the worst shit for you. You know, a lot of people are like, what, no cheese? Yeah, it's crap. And stick to the good things. After you've done the nutrition part and gotten that squared away, and by the way, the nutrition part is like 80 to 90% of the whole deal, time to hit the gym, my specialty. Join a gym. Check out some gyms, ones that you like. If it's uh, you don't have a lot of money in your budget, a, a discount gym like Planet Fitness will be just fine. 10 bucks a month, 15, whatever it is. And once you go there, if you don't know what you're doing, get a trainer. Even Planet Fitness, I believe, will have somebody that can help you get acquainted with all the various equipment and how to do them properly and all that. Now, the better the gym, the better the trainer. When choosing a trainer, make sure it's somebody that you can work with, that you're comfortable with, that will not only work with you, but also teach you along the way. And again, if you're starting from scratch, you do want a trainer to learn how to do it right. Don't go to the gym and try to observe other people because most people don't know what the fuck they're doing. Trust me on this. And ideally go, I would say a month with a trainer. It's going to cost you some money, but it's, you're investing in yourself, just like with the app and the registered dietitian. This will save your life, okay? It will save you a fortune down the road in health costs. So work with the trainer. Meet with the, I would recommend going to the gym uh, the trainer is going to be expensive, obviously, and you get what you pay for, but I would say meet with the trainer at least, tw I would say twice a week. That's reasonable. And then if you can go to the gym another one, or, once or twice a week after that, so four times a week, you can then do things when he or she is not with you. And then eventually when you, you've got a routine, a program, and you've learned the ropes, then you can go on your own. And I, I do not recommend going seven days a week and training every day. It's a bad, it's too much, okay? You gotta have one day where you do no exercise at all. And I'd mix up your routine of cardio, but also lifting weights, okay? But do them in a safe manner, okay? Don't d try to use heavy weights just to show off and injure yourself, or screw everything up. And then at that point then, when you've done all that, you need to set a realistic goal when how to lose this weight. 
and I'm sure your dietitian can help you out with that, as well as your trainer. And I'm not talking 100 pounds in six months. I'm talking more like 100 pounds in a, two years, okay? And I'm probably stretching it, but you got to understand, you got to be realistic here and take it one week, one day at a time, you know? Put a chart in your refrigerator and mark your progress. I'd recommend that you... Uh, Weigh yourself once or twice a week, but no more than that. And understand there's going to be some weeks where you might gain weight. It happens. Don't let that discourage you. Keep going. But the thing is, you're going to have the most success and weight loss in the beginning. That's the cool part. And there's going to be a lot of water weight loss and a lot of salt that's going to go away. But just in the beginning, there's going to be big losses, and that's awesome. You're going to notice that your clothes are going to be shrink. Your clothes will be getting loose on you, so you'll be investing in new clothes. But that's a good thing in the long term. Be prepared that you may have some people that you hang out with that are overweight start to get jealous of you. It's the ugly truth. Because if you're working hard to change how you look and they are not doing anything, that could be a problem. Some may get jealous and try to derail. Or if you're if you're at the gym when normally you'd hang out with them, you know, they're gonna be feel like they're losing you and try to sabotage. Most people in this world are weak and lazy and don't want to do anything to change the problems they have, so it's easier to hate on others. So be prepared for that. I hope that doesn't happen to you, but you need to be around people that are supportive of you and have your back and cheering you on in your journey. Let's see, what else? Like I said, some weeks, you, you, in the beginning, the first few months, you're going to lose a lot, and that's awesome. But then be prepared. As, as time goes on, it will get harder. And like I said, you may have a week where you don't lose anything, or you may gain a pound. That's normal. Keep going. Remember, you're lifting weights and everything, so you're going to be putting on muscle, and muscle's much heavier than fat, so keep that in mind. What else? As you move along, remember that... Um, I'm looking here at my notes. As you move along, remember, at, at, in the final stages, there's also... Yes, numbers are important on that scale, but also inches. Losing those inches right away. Pay more attention eventually to the inches than uh, the actual number. But, And you'll be checking with your doctor periodically, and he'll, he'll see your progress and all that. So, bro, and at that point then, just take it one day, day at a time. Okay? Now, by the way, this does not mean... i got to mention this. Very, it's very important here. This does not mean that you can't ever enjoy yourself, like go to the movies, have some popcorn, or have a slice of pizza. That's okay. The, the Weight Watchers app will allow you to have that here and there, all right? But not all the time. And eventually, when you get to your goal, and you will get there, and it will take time, but you'll get there, then it's just regular lifestyle. Eating healthy all the time, working out, and believe me, you're going to be so much of a happier guy, and your confidence is going to go through the roof when you see the, the progress you've made. Now, like I said, there's going to be days when you're just going to be dying to have a whole giant piece to yourself, or chug down a six-pack and all that. Bro, look at the big picture always. You know, if you have somebody, it would be great if you end up making friends with somebody at the gym that could be a workout partner, or say you have a friend that's equally as motivated as you, and you can do this process together. He can be like your, like your sponsor. Like if you're going to slip up, you call him to make sure you don't eat that giant pizza from Domino's or whatever. Now, remember, this doesn't mean you can't enjoy some of the things you enjoy, but in very small moderation. But you may not even want to touch that stuff at first. But I also recommend if you're going to have a snack here and there, have it outside the house. Don't keep that crap in the house. The temptation is too great. Okay. And by the way, I know the trick that uh, some people think, well, as long as I don't sit down on the couch and eat those chips, then it doesn't count. Like I can sit there and scarf them down standing up in the kitchen. No, it doesn't work that way whether you eat them or not. So eventually, moderation. And then there you go. And again, you're 32 years old, so you're still young. And so this will be a lot easier if you, compared to doing if you're 52. So guys, that's what you should do if you are looking to make that kind of change. Again, talk to the doctor, make sure everything's cool, get all the crap out of the house, talk to a registered dietitian, use that app. The app is a godsend. And by the way, I'm going to advise you use that app for a very long time after, even after you reach your goal, just to ensure that you stay on the track. And eventually you'll have it down to a science of what you can eat and what can't eat, et cetera, et cetera. And then hit the gym, work out, hire a trainer, a good one, that trainer will be worth it. And you're going to spend some money on all this, but it's worth it long term. You'll save a fortune in health and medical related costs down the road and you'll feel better. And yeah, you're going to have to change your whole wardrobe because you're going to lose 100 pounds, but again, it's worth it. And just go from there. And you may very well inspire other people to make the change too. And of course, be, be aware, some people may be jealous of your success and progress, so you may have to, unfortunately, lose some people, cut people out of your life if they're not supportive. It is what it is. All people that are successful have haters. It's just people are just lazy and weak and don't want to do it themselves to hate on you. And uh, go from there and just be patient. You will get there.
So I really do hope that will help you out, and I think you can definitely do it. And if you have any questions down the road, shoot me an email. Just let me know how your progress is going, and I'll be happy to uh, update and go from there. All right, guys, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below and what you think about this. Let this guy know what you think. If you've been in his shoes and you lost a lot of weight and everything, comment below. Let him know. Give him some support. Let him know what can be done. Let him know. Give him some realistic info. Like, it doesn't happen overnight. Yeah, you can lose a bunch of weight in a short period of time, but the faster you do it, the more likely you used to put it back on. But when it's dragged out like, like 100 pounds, like he said, Two years is very uh, is a realistic time frame to do that, but six months is not, and it's likely he'll put it right back on if he does too quick. So comment below, let him know what you did and how it worked out. Were you able to maintain it later on? Any uh, problems you may have had? Let him know, and I'll be definitely help him out. And make sure you like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe. I'll catch you next time.